Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Sandbird and my background is my beauty therapist, holistic therapist. Today's video is about everything you need to know about rosehip seed oil, the most amazing, versatile oil that you can use for so many ways. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first of all, where does rosehip seed oil come from? So it's extracted from the seed of the wild rose and the best rosehip seed oil is extracted from the mountainous regions of South Africa and South America. Who can use rosehip seed oil? All skin types, but we're going to address each skin type individually because it has so many benefits. The myth dispelled is rosehip seed oil has a subtle woody fragrance. It's very light and very subtle because it's extracted from the seed of the rose bush, whereas Rose water and rose oil are extracted from the petal of the rose plant, so they have more of a rose scent. This one does not have a rose. So first of all, let's look at the ingredients in rose hip seed oil. Okay, myth number one: it does not contain vitamin A. It contains pro-vitamin A. There is a difference. The body has to convert that into retinol and then retinoic acid. Let's look at the ingredients, the main benefits. So we have pro-vitamin A, we have vitamin C, and we have vitamin E. So, if you have hyperpigmentation, very good for that. It's going to brighten and even the skin tone. It's going to boost and stimulate collagen and elastin production, promoting the elasticity of the skin. So we also have anti-aging benefits, and it's going to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Also excellent for post-surgery scarring, and also for acne scarring. Very good for wounds and very good for healing the skin. Rose hip seed oil has actually been used for since ancient times. We have essential fatty acids, which is omega-3 and omega-6. And what they do is it's intensely hydrating and moisturizing for the skin. They maintain the health of the skin barrier and they also heal the skin. So now we're going to look at the texture and the packaging and what to look for when you're buying your rose hip seed oil. So let's talk about the texture and the color of rose hip seed oil. So it's a very, it's termed as a dry oil because it's easily absorbed into the skin. It does not leave an, a heavy, greasy residue. And it ranges in color from a deep golden hue to a rich red orange color. Obviously it depends on the batch that has been picked. An amber bottle with a dropper format you only need to use two or three drops you do not need to use the reason why the rose hip seed oil comes in an amber bottle is to protect it from sunlight it's very important to store it in a cool dry place away from direct sunlight the shelf life is six months once it's opened store it in a cool dry place away from sunlight so this rose hip seed oil is from the ordinary is 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil. What does cold press mean? Cold press means it's a more complicated way of extracting the actual oil, but when it's extracted in this more complex way, it's more high grade, so it's in its purest form. To use one that's organic and cold press and that doesn't have any anything else added to the ingredients because it's going to take away the benefits of the rose hip seed oil. So now I'm going to show you the many different ways that you can use rose hip seed oil. The first one being within your skincare routine. So you only use any facial oil at night time. So make sure your skin is damp when you're applying the rose hip seed oil on your face. So if you're using a very light moisturizer like the Ordinary Moisturizing Factors Plus HA, Put this on first and then your oil is your last step. Using a heavier moisturiser that has a lot of, say, castor oils, heavy waxes, etc. You would put your oil on first and then the moisturiser at the end because the, the oil will not be able to penetrate a heavy moisturiser. Hope that makes sense. So I'm going to show you what I do in my evening routine. What you can actually do is skip a step. So take... So take two to three drops, apply it in the palm of your hand, like so. And what you can do, if you're using a light moisturiser, you can actually mix the oil 
with your cream. Mix it together and then just apply it on your face like so. Just this. Another way you can use rosehip seed oil is you can apply it directly to the skin. Say for example, where we get a lot of um, age spots showing up first is the decollete and on the hands. So you can actually use it that way as well. And you could do the same. You could um, mix your facial cream, your facial moisturiser on scar tissue to help fade and heal. Another way you can use rosehip seed oil is you can massage it into your cuticles nightly to nourish the nails and strengthen them and also prevent dry cuticles. Another great way to use rosehip seed oil, again for the hands, see the age spots, you can mix with your hand cream two or three drops and while you do your cuticles before you go to bed you can also apply with your mix with your hand cream Give your hands some extra moisture. You can also use rosehip seed oil after you exfoliate. So let's look at the different skin types and how you can benefit from using rosehip seed oil. Dry, sensitive, reactive skin, how can you benefit from rosehip seed oil? Well, because of the essential fatty acid content, the omega-3 and the omega-6, because it's very good at retaining the moisture and it's intensely hydrating and nourishing for the skin and moisturising, you can benefit from rosehip seed oil because it's good for maintaining a healthy skin barrier and protects the skin barrier. Also because the vitamin E is very healing on the skin and repairing and very soothing. And then you also have your antioxidants which help you there too. So for oily acne skin types, it's going to improve acne scarring. Also rosehip seed oil is a great skin balancer. So it's going, if you're producing too much sebum, it's going to reduce that sebum. Also because it has anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties and it's non-comedogenic, it's going to help clear the skin and help with acne scarring. However, please do not expect results overnight. I have been using this for three months and I'm starting to see improvements but it takes time, so consistency is key. Let's look at mature skin, for example, anti-aging properties. So it's going to st increase the collagen and elastin production in the skin. It's also good for hyperpigmentation because even if we've been faithful with sunscreen, when we have mature skin, damage that you did way back in your youth comes to the surface many years later. So it's good for brightening and evening out the skin tone with your antioxidant and it's got pro-vitamin A and vitamin C which we know increases collagen and elastin production and that's what we need. So I hope this was informative for you and everything you need to know about rosehip seed oil, the most amazing versatile oil ever. So until the next skincare video I will say over and out and Adios and thank you for watching. Bye.